I'm gonna make a quick guide for encrypting devices. So you have, so say you have a USB that you want to encrypt. In my case, I have a what the hell is this? 128 gigabyte USB, and if I could, yeah, become a root, that would be amazing. So I have this USB here, and I want to encrypt it. You can use various tools for encryption, especially for well, USB. You have many options on Linux, but I will use Crypt Setup, which is a part of well, uses VM Crypt on underneath, which is a part of the kernel Linux kernel. So to do this. What we need is firstly create a partition. So I have disk uh, P. You can see that we don't have any partitions. So we just type N for new. Yes, right, and that's it. We can now see that we have a partition, and we will use this partition as the well as the partition. Uh, that we will work on and to initiate, we'll initiate, I guess, to set up some encryption. We first have to format this partition as a looks um, device. And this is done through this command. So, sudo crypt setup looks format dash v slash dev slash a, the name of the partition. So, you, you enter this and then type yes capital and then you put in the password of your device so I'm gonna put something uh, passphrases do not match obviously when do I get type passwords correct on correctly on the first try so now it's encrypting it and you may have noticed that we haven't used any known uh, file system type that's because we have barely formatted it as an encryption device now we can encrypt set up open it as dev sd1 and give it a mapper name mapper name is means that it will be mounted it will be remounted inside of this location so you will take slash dev slash sd1 and create a new file which will be remapped and you will get the decrypted version inside of here. Its name, this will correspond to the file name inside of slash dev slash mapper. So use be careful be careful with the naming. So I will I usually just use USB or USB one, two, three, four the USBs that I used. You can then just change it anyway, but yeah, enter your correct passphrase and we can see that now we have this USB and this is like you, you use this as you would use a normal um, as a normal device file, except this one is now encrypted and this one is the decrypted version. So, how do we format this file? The same way we would format a device file, like so, map or USB. Um, this opening and closing you will actually have to do every time you load i mean you insert the usb stick into the, the into your computer it just becomes a practice i mean a, practice, a matter of habit over time unless you make a script for yourself in that case as you wish so that's good but we have a few more commands that we can use because now this is just formatting and the only thing that remains is to use this as our file system as our usb so you can just go mount this inside of mnt now sudo lsd okay will show us that we have sd sd1 the first partition remap as usb because this is the decrypted version of the partition and it's mounted under slash mnt <coughs> Now we can just write inside of this location and then after we, let's say I will go sudo npm mnt readme, private usb, blah, 
bla bla. Mm. Then it good common practice to sink the mount point before I mean unmounting it. So now we will sudo unmount MNT and prep setup close USB. You use the mapper name for close. And now you can simply unplug the USB. But there's more. You can do more things. Suppose we want to add or manage those keys that we have, those passphrases. The cool thing is you can use other utilities inside the grid setup manual. You have more utilities, not just, you can also have, wait, you also have re-encrypt. That's cool, but you have refresh, resize, status, close, open, whatever. You have many, 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 many options here. One of them being pseudo crypt setup. What is it? Well, stump. And then the name of the partition. And this will show you the information of that lux partition. And the main interesting part is the key slots, which is the number of passphrases that, that you are using. And then it shows some technical information. You're, you don't have to care about this, honestly, unless you really are into cryptography. You don't have to know what key priority, whatever it is. I guess the salt, maybe you can be familiar with this uh, jargon, but the rest is probably yeah, just nonsense and can remain like that unless you're really interested. But suppose you want to add another script setup, let's add, you want to add a new key to this partition well you can do it with this operation looks add key and this will first you have to enter an existing passphrase of course because you can't just add passwords without having access to the file well to the usb anyway so i will promptly enter my password and then enter a new password i guess we'll just put test and that's it we have added two passwords now. Then we can also remove it with looks remove key, and then we can also change it with looks change key. And you know, this is possible and readily available inside the crypt setup manual that you can use. Well, look at anyway, like uh, add key. And you can then further inspect this sub tool as man crypt setup looks add key or further inspect i don't know say open or close if you're interested what of the what these utilities do so okay now we can verify this with crypt setup open dev sd1 usb and enter okay this new password that we have prompted and it should work. Yeah, we can now dev mapper. We can easily just mount dev mapper USB inside of MNT. And you can see that it nicely decrypted. Close USB and crypt setup looks dumb. The SD1 shows us that we have two looks, two passwords, passphrases, one data segment and one token or digest, TBKDF. Yeah. I guess you don't have to know this, but yeah. Oh, this is it. You can also take a look at other two, I mean, other operations like remove key. We can remove key, for example, pseudo crypt setup. Looks normal key dev as the one and the password to be deleted. This test password that I have used since I don't want it because it's unsafe. Now, if we dump it again, we will have just the original one. Then you can use also change key or other utilities or anything else. Just consult the manual, it's right over here in the terminal and you can access it or online, script setup manual.
and boom, baby. Here you have it. So that's all. Like I say, quick introduction to encryption. I try to stay under or at least close to 10 minutes now for simplicity. So that's all, folk, folks. See you next time.